Okay, so the topic of today's video is actually a little bit more serious. Usually when I make videos about other channels or other people, it's simply because they're doing something ignorant or there's kind of a point that I want to make about what they're doing, but this one is actually something that quite literally can end people's YouTube accounts. There's almost no boundaries to what this woman will do when it comes to quote-unquote defending her copyright, which, by the way, solely exists out of her completely destroying copyright laws at the same time. And it's not even really just for like a small group of people, right? Like she'll just go across the board and just take out whatever she can if she feels that it's too critical of her or if they're making fun of her or being mean to her, which means that in all reality, there is a definitely heightened chance that she tries to strike this video down. So many of you might know who Susie Liu is. She has hundreds of thousands of subscribers here on the platform. She dates a self-proclaimed copyright studier, even though both of them know jack shit about copyright law. And she even has her own website where she posts her content. Now, what does Suzy Lou make videos about? Well, Suzy Lou makes, oh, I don't know, hour-long videos, basically just unedited reactions of her watching anime episodes, and then she just uploads them. So she's essentially one of, like, the reaction channels that everybody was talking about just a few years ago, except in reality she takes it a step further because a lot of the channels that people were cracking on back in the day for doing this kind of thing and just basically just reacting to content, we're watching like viral internet videos or something like that, right? She's straight up taking episodes of popular anime, you know, Naruto, Sword Art Online, of course, Demon Slayer, some of the most popular animes on the planet. She'll just upload videos that are essentially her recording herself watching these episodes. The vast majority of the content is quite literally just an anime episode playing and then her face being recorded during the entire thing, which is is a definite violation of copyright law because if you really understand anything about fair use, and, and this is coming from Stanford University Libraries, in its most general sense, a fair use is any copying of copyrighted material done for a limited and transformative purpose, such as to comment upon, criticize, or parody a copyrighted work. Such uses can be done without permission from the copyright owner. So, hypothetically, she could, I guess, react to something and she wouldn't have to ask somebody as long as it falls under this. But let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, limited. It's not really limited if you're showing essentially the entire episode unedited, which, by the way, is also not transformative. And if you're only commenting upon, like, 10% of the episode, that, that's not really transformative. That That's kind of just taking something, putting it there, and then saying something about a couple seconds of it. So, of course, you can do this for commentary and criticism. You can do this for parodying something. There's a lot of different ways that you can use fair use. Susie Lou is not a fan of fair use. As a matter of fact, if you use her clips against her to say anything negative about her or to criticize her, she might even strike you. But remember, it's okay to watch completely unedited videos of Naruto on the internet and then barely react to them. That, that's, that's content that's transformative. So the next clip I want to show here is a little bit of John Swan's video. It kind of inspired me to go ahead and talk about this topic a little bit. But if you follow me over on Twitter, you might know like Augie RFC or Tipster, these other creators who at this point have been talking about Suzy Lou for quite a while now. Well, Tipster basically was one of the first people to really bring the subject up into light. Now, he even went as far to get a lawyer who actually knows what copyright is and isn't just some YouTuber on the internet saying what it is. And even this lawyer said that all these cases that she's basically have been, you know, striking people's videos down for making jokes or criticizing her have all been pretty much fair use, so. Tipster's original upload of this video got taken down with a community guideline strike for bullying and harassment. Yes, an interview with a lawyer about fair use is bullying and harassment. I got five minutes. All right, then show your flag history. We don't need- We need else. to see your flag history. I don't care. I want to see your flag history. I mean, this is this is vital. If you want to prove your innocence, you got to show your flag history. Why would I care to prove my innocence to a bunch of nobodies on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely not guilty. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Lots of, lots of GG reloaded, though. Yeah, lots of GG reloaded. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. This is not a good look, This is not a good look, Susie. Wait yeah. a minute! Yeah. All the yeah. stuff talking about the story! Wait a minute! Yeah, wait! wait a minute. Susie, no! And she went on to say this. So ultimately, I've been speaking with many different people at YouTube this week. So they are aware of the situation and they're at that point where the channels have been flagged and 
basically they're just looking into it at this point and I know for a fact that a lot of the videos they're just hate videos for the sake of it you know now keep in mind all the videos that she had been flagging were about the exact same subject it wasn't like it was just someone up like re-uploading her content or something it was basically people criticizing her and even though she showed these she refused to scroll down that report page goes down further by the sidebars indicator. So she's a known striker. That's apparently what you do. Hey, somebody said something bad about me. Well, it's not fair use. Strike them down. Let me upload another hour and a half long Naruto video to my YouTube channel and my website in which I say 19 words. It's not even the fact that it's just hypocritical to do something like that. It's the fact that it's just morally incorrect and illegal. Copyright infringement obviously is against the law. I think pretty much anyone should be able to understand that. But at the same time, what kind of person honestly is okay with doing things like this? Like, oh yeah, smaller YouTubers are just trying to, you know, do their thing out here. They're trying to report on something. They think that I did something wrong. Well, fuck it. I'm just going to strike down their videos, even though I have no legal grounds to really do it. And just say, you know what? Doesn't bother me. Now, they have made the claim several times her and her boyfriend, who, by the way, has apparently studied copyright law but literally doesn't know shit about it, they understand copyright law. That, that's what they say. They, they'll constantly tell people what is fair use and what isn't fair use. While at the same time, Susie Liu is about three people in executive companies away from being sued by multi-million dollar corporations, basically for giving people an avenue to watch their content without paying. But yeah, they understand, they understand the fair use law, right? Like, they, they got it down, man. There, there's no problems with what they're doing. Well, you might be wondering, like, well, Optimus, how does she keep getting away with all this stuff? Like, at a certain point with all these people talking about it and such an obvious track record of doing these things, how does she get away with it? Well, you might not believe this, but she's essentially in cahoots with YouTube themselves. Now, once you get to a certain size here on YouTube, this is for full transparency, uh, you get something called like a YouTube partner manager, which is essentially just a person at YouTube who is assigned to a pretty large amount of channels who have met these thresholds or whatever that they have set up, but they're basically your inside contact at YouTube, right? If you have any issues, you can email them. If you have questions, you can email them. You can even set up meetings with them to learn about specific topics going on on YouTube. I have one, full transparency. It's not like I have no connection with YouTube whatsoever, but Susie Lou often will flaunt the fact that she has this because she acts like she's some sort of like moral grandstander for YouTube in some ways. She has made several references to the fact that she has quote-unquote talked to YouTube about the people being mean to her and something is going to be done about it and things like that, right? So essentially, if you criticize her, if you bring anything up bad about her, she's just going to run right to her YouTube partner manager and not only tell on you like a four-year-old would do during a preschool disagreement, but also might really risk significant repercussions to your channel simply because she has access to this person and you don't. Now, you would never see somebody like me abusing this kind of relationship. You wouldn't see most people abuse this kind of relationship, but Susie is pretty adamant that she will, and she's pretty open about it. As a matter of fact, I got a tweet that recently went up of interest that I think everyone should take a look at here because I think it proves the track record pretty easy here. So, literally just two days ago, if you are a creator, no matter the size, and have been targeted by hate channels on YouTube, send me an email. We are making changes, and any information you can share will help make YouTube a better place for creators. At Team YouTube. If you were a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma. So as you can see, she's acting like she's some sort of like YouTube spokesperson. She even tagged the official at Team YouTube, who by the way, I trolled on April Fools pretty well. And acts like she like works for the company or something, basically. Like, oh, if you're if you're a creator and you have been targeted by hate channels, send me an email. We are going to stand up to these people. Well, can you guess what hate channels are to her? They're people who make fucking critical YouTube videos. They're people who call people out for things. And Susie Lou would not be getting nearly the amount of quote-unquote hate that she gets if she would just act like a decent human being and just take criticism well, you know? She's criticized for the way that she targets other people's channels when they criticize her, and this tweet is yet another example. She's criticized for being a massive hypocrite about copyright law while uploading what she calls content at the same time she's flagging people for using 20-second clips of her and criticizing her. She's criticized because she called Argy RFC and all these other people who were just trying to have a civil discussion about her and get her to prove that she wasn't the one flagging people's content. She's criticized because she said, why do I have to prove myself to a bunch of nobodies? And then when she shows the flag history, it's extremely insinuative that she's the one doing exactly what they've been saying the entire time and that these quote-unquote bunch of nobodies had caught her in her shit. 
So if you're a creator, no matter the size, and you've been targeted by criticism on the internet that is fair use and in all reality is pretty okay because what they're saying is actually correct, send her an email because she's going to tell YouTube and they might do something about it. Well, I think that that's really fucking dangerous. I think that's a horrible precedent to set on YouTube. I think that people who get away with this kind of stuff are toxic to the platform because they legitimately impede on other channels' abilities to succeed in very measurable ways. You can say, oh, but people do the same thing to Susie Liu because they criticize her. No, no. This is a woman with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, her own website that is supposedly eventually going to get a subscription model where you can literally watch her videos without any editing whatsoever. This is a woman who is violating YouTube's guidelines and she's violating Patreon's guidelines because she's uploading this content that she doesn't really own the copyright to and isn't using fair use on. She's making a stupid amount of money a month. She is not being oppressed by people criticizing her. You know who is being oppressed? Someone like Tipster or someone like GG Reloaded who spoke out about the situation and saw a strike come their way. Those people are being oppressed by hate channels on YouTube because criticism is not hate. There's a fine line between it. This video is not hate. I'm not saying that I hate Susie Lou. I'm not encouraging anyone to do anything against her or her outlets or anything like that, unless they have the legal discretion to, of course. None of that, okay? I'm simply criticizing what she does and how she treats people who I consider friends on this platform. Tipster is a good person. Augie is a good person. If anything happens to John Swan's video, it wouldn't matter. He's a good person, and he, do he does everything he does with good intent. These people are not bullies. People who criticize Susie Lou are not bullies. Susie is a bully because she uses the connection she has with YouTube against other people. She doesn't use it to make YouTube a better place for creators. She does this to make YouTube a better place for her. She tries to create an echo chamber where nobody can say anything bad about her. That's not better for creators. And I guarantee you that if you're a creator who sends her an email about this, your situation is not getting fixed. If anything, she wants to probably farm people to get evidence for her benefit. There's no other reason she would do something like this. This woman hasn't set up the new FUPA Fair Use Protection Act and put money in it to defend people's channels from copyright abuse. Nothing like that. that that's more measurable. She is doing things deliberately to help herself, so... These kinds of channels are bad for YouTube. And criticizing her increases the threat against your channel, without a doubt. Now, before I finish this off, Susie, you already know what you're doing here. I'm, I'm sure you're going to watch this video. And trust me, I already have you one step ahead, okay? You flag this video down, there's always Optube. You know, you got your little Susie Lou website and whatnot. I've got Optube, so let's see how you handle that one, okay? And like I've heard about this situation, she can't flag us all. So I have something else in store if she decides to take this video down or to copyright strike it. And I don't think she's going to like it. And it doesn't even have to involve a legal team. So this video will exist regardless of whether she wants to or not. That's all I'll say about the plan. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Share this video with your friends. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below for fresh Optimus merch. Also, make sure to check out Optube because it's basically my safe haven from people like this. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus standing up to Susie Lou and signing out. <laughs>